Mickey jumped up as soon as he saw the surgeon come out of the operating room. How's my little girl doing? Is she alright? When can I see her? Sorry, Sam. We did everything we could. But the child didn't make it. Sorry, Sam. I don't understand. Why do little children suffer from cancer? Doesn't God care anymore? Where were you, God, when my daughter needed you? Would you like some time alone with your daughter before we could transfer to the university? It was Becky's idea to donate her body to the university to study. First I said no, but she said that I'm not going to use it anyways. After I die, some other girl can spend one more day with her father. She went on. She had a heart of a gold, always thinking of someone else. She always wanted to help someone if she could. Sammy asked a doctor to stay with him while he said goodbye to his daughter. He ran his fingers lovingly through her thick black hair. Would you like a lock of her hair? The doctor then cut a lock of the girl's hair, put it in a plastic bag and handed it to Sammy. Sammy then walked out of Chris Hospital for the last time after spending most of the last six months there. The drive home was difficult. It was even harder to enter the empty house. He carried Becky's plastic bag with the lock of her hair to his daughter's room. He started placing the toys and other personal things in a room exactly where he had always skipped them. He then lay down on his bed, hugging his pillow and cried himself to sleep. It was around midnight when Sammy awoke and lying beside his bed was a folded letter. Dear Dad, I know you are going to miss me. But don't think that I will ever forget you or stop loving you just because I am not around to say I love you. I will always love you. Dad, even more with each day so you won't be so lonely. Until then, if you want to adopt a little girl, that's okay with me. She can have my room and all stuff to play with. God said for me to one of the questions you asked him, where was he 
when I needed him. God said he was in the same place with me as when his son Jesus was on the cross. He was right there as he always is with all his children. Oh, by the way, Dad, no one else can see what I have written except you to everyone else. This is just a blank piece of paper. Isn't that cool? I almost forgot to tell you. I don't hurt anymore. The cancer is all gone. I am happy here. Please don't worry about me. Bye Dad. Take care. I love you.